Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope that you are all having a really wonderful day thus far. And so when looking at this satellite imagery, you might be wondering if that is a developing storm. Well, it is not. It is a tropical wave, but we see that there is quite a bit of activity in association with it, and it will be bringing impacts to the Lesser Antilles as we head uh, into later today, going into tomorrow. And over in the Western Caribbean, there is another tropical wave that is inducing a lot of activity across some areas and so in this video we'll be taking a look at all that is happening as well as what is expected so before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update video all right, and so as we return to this satellite imagery here, there we can see all of that shower and thunderstorm activity in association with that approaching tropical wave. Now, as we're going to be heading to later today, as I said, and going into tomorrow as well, this activity is going to be spreading across most of the Lesser Antilles and inducing lots of rainfall for some areas, but not everywhere will be receiving the same kind of uh, rainfall or witnessing the same kind of activity. For some areas, it might just be very gloomy with some intermittent showers while for others it can be uh, periods of very heavy rainfall and strong winds as well so we'll be taking a look at the rainfall uh, total maps very shortly but most islands all the way from Trinidad up to Anguilla inclusive of Barbados but for the island chain right now we're not seeing where much is happening uh, there are still those little clusters of clouds coming in from the tropical Atlantic helping to enhance the weather there maybe bringing some overcast skies with brief showers at times uh, but for most areas is. It's pretty sunny. Going to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, similar story here. Nothing crazy going on for the ABC Islands. Maybe a bit of overcast skies, but with those high-level clouds. Looking across Hispaniola, going to Cuba, Jamaica. Let's head a bit more to the west here. We can see that there isn't much happening. Same story for most of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. But over in Central America, take a look at that. Lots of showers and thunderstorms. And as I said, there's another tropical wave in the area that is helping to induce all that activity. For the Cayman Islands, though, much isn't happening happening right now. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at the rainfall total maps. And we're starting out with the GFS model here. Now, as the map becomes more colorful, a lot more rainfall is expected. And so we can see that for most of Cuba, going to the Cayman Islands, sections of Jamaica, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, and even out to the uh, Turks and Caicos Islands and most of the Bahamas, a lot of rainfall is not expected. Similar story for the ABC Islands as well. But uh, as for Central America, we can see that a lot of rainfall is lacking maybe some spots receiving up to around 88 millimeters of rainfall and uh, across northern South America similar story here so uh, some areas are likely going to be receiving quite a bit of substantial rainfall especially as we head to the afternoon hours uh, as a result of that daytime heat and helping to increase that instability which leads to the development of showers and uh, thunderstorms especially that thunderstorm activity and then going over into the lesser Antilles uh, most of these areas here can experience uh, maybe from around 3 to 25 millimeters of rainfall between now and tomorrow morning. And we see that some of the areas that are highlighted more in those shades of oranges and red include some parts of southern Antigua going to Guadeloupe, uh, Dominica, and even Martinique. But other areas are going to be receiving uh, a lot of that rainfall as well. Even going down to Barbados and in Trinidad, we can see that uh, some higher totals are expected there as well. So, but heading more to those shades of yellows than those oranges, reds, uh, that is increasing totals that are expected. Going on to Euro, uh, we can see that Euro is showing something pretty much similar in terms of which areas are expected to receive substantial rain through today. We see that most of Central America going down to uh, Northern South America and for most of the lesser entities, there is going to be substantial rainfall heading to tomorrow morning. And uh, for the ABC Islands though, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Cuba, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, uh, and even going up to parts of the Bahamas in Turks and Caicos Islands, much rainfall is not anticipated. So uh, maybe just a passing shower or isolated thunderstorm at the most across these areas, especially as we head into this afternoon.
And so guys, only time will tell what the eventuality is going to be. But heads up, if you're in the Lesser Antilles, uh, there is going to be that increased rainfall. And of course, Barbados is likely going to be feeling the first of impacts. And so uh, as we take a look at this surface chart here, there we can see the other tropical waves, two others that are out there. And I want to briefly talk about this because uh, if you've noticed, as of lately, every week there is at least one tropical wave that moves in with a lot of activity. And that is something typically seen as we head to the month of August and into September and October. But when we're talking about uh, being so early on in the season and seeing that much activity uh, being induced across parts of the Eastern Caribbean, uh, that isn't something that is very typical. And that goes to show how much uh, conditions are above average in terms of the favorability uh, with these sea surface temperatures. And so there are those other tropical waves out there and every few days there's a new one that emerges and this pattern is likely going to be continuing as we head throughout the next several weeks. And so guys, I will continue to keep you posted on all that is happening and uh, look out for an update video this afternoon. I'll also be talking about an updated prediction for the hurricane season. Pretty interesting uh, what is forecast now. And so that is it for right now. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will respond once I get the chance and remember to always be weather wise.